One of the keys to trading like a girl is striving for mitigating risk, even if it means giving up profit potential. It also entails understanding that risk and reward are not always correlated because taking on too much risk often means running out of margin money or emotional stability. Let's take a look at this year's wheat market, which has been absolutely treacherous for the bulls. And I guarantee it's shaken up a lot of traders. The best way to keep yourself out of trouble as a trader is to understand that none of us are perfect. So give yourself plenty of room for error and lasting power. If you take on too much risk, looking to swing it for the fence, hit the home run, more often than not, even if you hit once or twice, you might get lucky and, and have a big payday. At some point in the long run, if you continue to trade, that'll catch up to you. A trader in June of this year might have looked at the wheat market as a buy. The market was oversold. Fundamentals weren't too terribly horrible. Uh, the rally that we re that we saw earlier in the year was mostly on the Ukraine drama, uh, nervousness about Ukraine's ability to continue to produce wheat, and basically the market took back the risk premium and, and brought us back to the low six six dollars six twenty area. And, uh, you know, again, a lot of people might have considered that to be a buy. If so, they had a couple of ways to go about it. They could have bought an option. They could have bought a call option. They could have sold a put. They could have just gone long a futures contract. Or they could play it with mini futures. And I know a lot of people, when you say mini futures, they, they think it's a waste of their time. They feel like, you know, either want to be in the market or out of the market, and they want to be all in. And a mini just doesn't do it for them. But I would argue that trading with the mini contract is actually going to provide you with much better odds of success. And it's going to give you exactly what you're going to need, room for error and lasting power. Now, somebody that opted to go long here in the six, we'll just call it 615 area, hopefully the full-size futures trader would not have held on to a long wheat position long enough to accumulate this size of a loss. We're talking about 5,000 had they held it from approximately 615 down to 515. We'll just round here. Nonetheless, there's really no way to manage the risk of the trade or manage the trade other than simply ripping the Band-Aid off and exiting the trade, or this trader could hold on to the position and hope for recovery. But clearly, it would take a very substantial and probably even unlikely move to bring the trader back to scratch. If they continue to hold the trade, the market's going to have to rally a dollar for them just to get back to even. And that, you know, obviously, they're not going to be making money at that point. They're just making back the losses. Somebody trading a full-size futures contract may or may not be, but I would say the average retail trader would not be comfortable adding to their position down here. Um, however, a mini futures trader with similarly unfortunate timing would be sitting on a significant loss, but a far more manageable loss. Trading minis, which are one-fifth the size of a full-size contract, would be down approximately $1,000 as opposed to 5000 A mini trader is basically sacrificing immediate profit potential for the ability to dollar cost average comfortably and give themselves higher odds of success. Although the mini trader probably isn't having fun with, you know, an accumulated loss of about $1,000, they probably would be comfortable adding to the position, lowering the break-even point tremendously. In other words, instead of a rally back to 615 to completely recoup the losses, a mini trader that was able to add on to losses at lower prices to double their position would only need the market to rally to 566 is going to be somewhere in this ballpark. At 566, they're basically going to break even. Obviously, that's not ideally what you're looking for when you enter a, a trade in the futures market, but I think we can all agree that it provides much better odds of success than the trader that went in with a full-size contract. Obviously, adding to a loser adds risk to the position. But in the case of a one-lot trader on a mini contract, the margin's only about $300 per contract, so we're talking about a manageable margin. And even with too many contracts, it's still far less risky than it would be trading one full-size contract. So again, we're talking about a level of comfort here. Uh, it, it's really a mind game, and you want to avoid any potential scenario in which you're going to subject yourself to potential panic, overreaction, that sort of thing. Trading minis as opposed to a full-size contract, in my opinion, 
successfully helps to not eliminate but significantly reduce the emotional turmoil that you're going to experience throughout a trade. And accordingly, you're most likely going to make better trading decisions. And again, shift the odds in favor of success as opposed to the other way. Obviously, the opportunity cost of trading with many contracts, lowering your risk and increasing the odds of success, is the potential of immediate and highly lucrative profit potential. Obviously, had we not have broken support and continued lower, had it found a bottom and rallied, somebody trading a full-size contract potentially could have made a lot of money in a very short period of time. Nonetheless, keep in mind, unfortunately, most speculators lose money. Guessing the direction and the pace of a market is extremely difficult. 